Here's the problem that I've recently solved with my system and four powerful apps. Like you, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I read a lot of books. I browse many articles on the internet. I listen to some podcasts and I'm scrolling through Twitter X several times a day. And during these many hours of content consumption, I often come across interesting bits that resonate with me or things that surprise me or insights that I want to capture for my future self. But I didn't have a way of logging these insights, which kind of begs the question, why was I wasting all this time consuming all this stuff in the first place if I wasn't going to do something useful with it? Sounds familiar? But now I've got these four powerful apps that work together seamlessly to form what I like to call the triple C system. Consume, connect, create. It's your co-pilot for capturing and logging all of the insights that we get from YouTube, books, article, podcast, Twitter X and more. So let's start with the first two apps that make up the consumption layer. The first app is Kindle. So if you are reading books on the Kindle app, which I've been doing for many years now, as you are reading stuff, you can highlight also in different colors, which is useful, and make notes, which are then synced between all your devices and can be exported to your second brain, which I show later. The second app is a read it later app. I used Instapaper and Pocket in the past, but switched to Readwise Reader. I put a link in the show notes below as soon as it came out, and you will see why when we talk about the connection layer. And the idea is that anytime I come across an article on the internet, a blog post, a newsletter, a video on YouTube or a post on Twitter X that I want to read, but I don't want to read it then and there, I share it to Readwise Reader. There are many different ways of sharing it. You can use the Chrome or Safari extensions. There are many ways of getting stuff into Readwise Reader. You can even use specific email addresses to put your stuff into your Readwise Reader library or feed. Actually, one of my biggest productivity hacks in general is that whenever I come across interesting videos, newsletter, articles, PDFs. I try not to read them immediately. I rather save them to Readwise Reader so that when I'm in the mood or really have time to read the stuff, I open up Readwise Reader on my phone, iPad or Mac and they've got apps for Android and the likes as well. I open Readwise Reader where all my selected articles are waiting for me. A long list of articles that I've saved that I can then start read through one by one for however long I like or have time for. And while you are batch reading your articles, you can highlight and make notes which all can be exported seamlessly into your second brain. More on that later in the video. Let's now talk about the connection layer, which consists of two additional apps, which are so powerful that I probably make a separate video about them. And these apps work seamlessly together. The first one is a very special app I've been loving and paying for since June 2020, and it's called Readwise. And there's a special link in the video description. You will get an extended free trial for 60 days rather than 30 days. And so Readwise is the first part of my connection layer. It's bringing together all of the highlights that I've created from YouTube, videos, books, newsletters, PDFs, blogs, Twitter, X posts, podcasts, collected in my consumption layer apps, Kindle and Readwise Reader. When I sign into my Readwise account, what we'll see is that it brings together books, YouTube articles, PDFs, tweet podcasts, so when it comes to books, Readwise automatically connects to my Amazon Kindle account because I've given it permission. And Readwise brings together all of my highlights from these books into one place. But it's not just books. Readwise automatically connects to Readwise Reader, which brings highlights that I've created from YouTube videos, newsletter, PDFs, blogs, Twitter, Expos, podcasts, you name it. And Readwise Reader has YouTube support, which means all the stuff highlighted from a video can automatically be synced into Readwise. If YouTube has some kind of transcript available, which YouTube practically always has these days, thanks to auto-generated captions. So that's all well and good, you might say. We've got this app that integrates all of these different highlights from these different sources, but What's the point of it? Well, there are two main benefits to this. First, the traditional Readwise service can send you an email that has some of your highlights randomly surfaced and can be some kind of spaced repetition. But the feature I really use and that makes this an essential part in Own Foundation's Triple C system is something else. And with this feature, you'll finally understand why Readwise Reader was a no-brainer when it came out and immediately replaced Instapaper and Pocket for me. And that feature is that Readwise 
can automatically export all of the highlights to apps like Obsidian, Notion, Evernote, LogSec, Roam Research, Tana, RamNote, and the list is growing. And some may know that I used Evernote and later Notion for specific use cases for more than 10 years and had over 7,000 nodes in Evernote alone before discovering Obsidian. Why Obsidian is my tool of choice for building a second brain and personal knowledge management is a video on its own, which you can find in the show notes below. Obsidian is my central note-taking system and helps organizing my digital life. By the way, none of the mentioned apps is sponsoring this video. I just find these apps so incredibly useful and think you will too. I use Obsidian for many things, starting with my morning journaling, throughout the day for logging tasks and achievements, writing and editing YouTube scripts, the own foundations newsletter, my daily reviews. For personal use, Obsidian is free forever. So if you are an individual, a solopreneur, a student, you can use Obsidian for free for however long you want, for whatever you want. It's absolutely fantastic. If you want to publish notes on the web, like I have recently started and will talk about in a later video, hit the link in the show notes below and see it in action. And so a great thing is that Readwise seamlessly exports into Obsidian. What that means is when you link your Obsidian account to Readwise, it brings together all your highlights, all of the insights that you've gathered from YouTube, books, articles, podcasts, tweets, posts, PDFs, you name it. Those were the four apps in Own Foundation's Triple C system. And if you also have this problem where you are consuming too much stuff, books, articles, podcasts, tweets, posts, whatever, and you don't have a system for mining the insights from all of these great things you consume, remembering them and actually applying them in your own life, then I'd really recommend you start setting up your own system. Of course, you don't have to use all of the apps mentioned. Kindle, I'd recommend to everyone. Readwise Reader versus Pocket or Instapaper? Well, if you decide for Readwise as your connection layer, like me, then there is no need to pay extra for Pocket or Instapaper now. And so far, I always had a good customer experience with Readwise Reader and got my questions answered. Shout out to Aaron. And for your second brain, Readwise syncs to all kind of apps like Notion, Roam, Evernote, etc. But if you ask me, Obsidian is the best. Thanks to an awesome developer community and other features which I'll discuss in the video here. But of course, you're not tied into any note-taking app or this sort of thing. So if you want to find out more about how I use Obsidian to organize my life and supercharge my productivity, I see you in the next video.